Hi, welcome to this short video on Create Structures from Points. The Create Structures from Point command allows you to create pipe structures from survey points. To demonstrate this, I'm going to come up to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon. I'm going to go to the Pipes panel and I'm going to select Create Structures from Points. I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to window all the points that I want. Now here it's given me the network name, so I'm going to give it a new name here. I'm going to call it Storm 1. And I'm going to select my parts list, which is Stormwater. And I'm going to go OK. The dialog box comes up now. So here's my network name. So if I had another network in here, if I wanted to select it, I could. I can also set my parts list, which I've already done. We have a toggle here called Automatic Mapping. This will allow you to either automatically map all your points so the point description will map to a certain part family. If I uncheck that, you'll actually see every single point. And I don't want to have to set every single point, so I'm going to put it on automatic mapping. I'm going to come in here. So for my catch basins, it says null structure. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to select rectangular junction. And I'll leave it at 24 by 24. For my manhole, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select a... Uh, say concentric cylinder structure and I'll leave it at this 48 inch diameter one and I could save this as a mapping so it'll automatically do that every single time I come in here so to do that I just click on the plus here and I'll just call this one uh, um, Kobe and I'm gonna go OK now it's saved so the next time I use this command it'll automatically match the catch basins to be this type and the manhole to also be this type on down at the bottom, we've got an option here to set structure name from selected data. So if I click on that, in here you have an option that says user defined property. If I go to the drop down, I've also got Kogo data. And I can go over here and I can select what I want to call that um, structure. So I could use the raw description or full description. If you have it on user defined data and you have any user defined properties that you want to use for the structure, you could also select it from there. I'm not going to use this option, but it's there. And then we also have the option here to set rim elevation from Kogo point within a buffer radius. And so what this will do is it'll look for points within the radius I specify to see if it finds a point that you want to use for the rim elevation. Okay. We're not going to do that. We're just going to go OK here. And now if I zoom in, we're now going to see we have structures where all of those points were. This concludes this short video on Create Structures from Points. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.